the rooster that didn't belong. Life didn't start off great for Rupert. He was the only egg that hatched in his group and he was never accepted by any of the other chickens. He got bullied and picked on every second of the day. He lived in fear and didn't belong, so he went to seek friendship outside of the group and found safety and comfort in an unlikely place, on the back of a kuni kuni pig called Peppa. The first time he jumped up, he didn't know what to expect, but did it anyway, since the ground was not a safe space for him. And to his surprise, he liked being up there. And his new safe space welcomed him too, for she was getting her back scratched every time he would walk up and down her back. Do you like that? And it was a good thing he did, because the rest of his life was made better because of this move he made. So their friendship developed over the months. Rupert got his security and safety from Peppa, and Peppa would get her much-loved back scratches. Peppa, Peppa. Hey, Rupert. Rupert's day very much consisted of sitting on Peppa when she was having a nap or just chilling under a tree. He followed her around the farm when she was digging and eating grass and roots and waiting for her when she would go for walks way outside his comfort zone. He would always wait for her under the same oak tree and let her know she was gone way too long every time she got back from her little adventures. On one of Peppa's adventures, she met a wild boar and three months, three weeks and three days later, she gave birth to six beautiful piglets. Now, just before that, things had changed quite a lot on the farm. One month before Peppa gave birth, Maggie had seven beautiful wild boar babies of her own and Peppa had moved into the coop to give Maggie some space. So Peppa and Rupert spent most of their waking hours and sleeping ones together. Oh my goodness. Did you enjoy sleeping with your girlfriend? I really didn't want Peppa to give birth in the coop because chickens love blood. I didn't know what was going to happen and it wasn't the cleanest place for newborn babies. So we made Peppa a little shack close to the coop to have her babies because she absolutely did not want to give birth in the goat house. And I showed Rupert where Peppa was staying. Initially he got a fright when he saw these six newborn babies. A girl, Peppa, should be proud. She should be proud. She did a good job, eh? For the pepper. Um, I think, what's his name? I think Rupert is looking for you. Rupert, Pepper's in here! Rupert doesn't understand what's going on. Look at him. He's panicking. Rupert, what happened to Pepper? She had babies. Peppa, look, Rupert's here. He wants to see the babies. He's like, oh my goodness, are those mine? Huh? Well, that's your Peppa. That's your Peppa. Well, that's it? You're, you're not a father? And Rupert stopped visiting the coop altogether. After all, there was nothing there for him. Rupert took on the father role almost instantly and was there for them every second of the day. He would wake them up early. <coughs> walk with them around the land and watch them while they slept while Peppa needed her alone time. 
He has his hands full. Where are your babies? Yes, very good. Very good. While you're going around, Peppa, while you're running around the land, Daddy is taking care of your babies. Huh? In the meantime, Peppa and Maggie's new home was ready to move into and Maggie was the first one there with her seven babies. Until now, they were busy bringing up their babies separately, but Maggie got very sick. So Peppa moved in to comfort her and be with her sister for the last few days on the farm. And Rupert moved back into the coop, but he was not happy. He really didn't understand why his perfect life with his beautiful family came to an abrupt stop. And he was pining for Peppa and the piglets, pacing up and down the farm, looking around underneath the oak tree that they spent so many hot afternoons, Rupert on Peppa and the kids all around him, and would wait for them every night. Come, Peppa's not coming. Come on, Peppa's not coming. She's sleeping somewhere else. I know. Come on, Rupert. Everyone else is inside. Good boy. <laughs> Rupert, Peppa's not here. Take a buckle, Rupert. This went on for a few days, but felt like forever for Rupert. Until one day, he was screaming his head off just outside the shack they used to share. And we decided it was time to unite them and let Rupert decide his future. Where would he like to spend his days? On the way down there, he was not sure he liked where he was going. I am pretty sure he didn't understand the trip, but when he saw Peppa, he jumped out of my arms and I could see it in his face. Content, he finally was where he has been dreaming of being, on Peppa's back and bossing his kids around one more time. Happy at last once again. Wow, what did you find, Rupert? Yummy. He's telling him that he found something for them. Eat it yourself, Rupert. I don't think they eat worms. <laughs> I so wish I could end this beautiful story with a happy ever after but nature as beautiful as it is can be a cruel place or we see it as cruel but it's just nature where's Rupert? Papa, where's Rupert? Rupert! I fed them last night Rupert and Peppa woke up to eat and now first thing in the morning normally Rupert comes running there was Peppa down there and Rupert's nowhere to be seen Molly find Rupert no Molly Rupert's gone oh no what happened did you see anything did you see anything happen 
I don't know what happened, but Rupert's gone. There's feathers everywhere and he's not here. And Papa was with him all the time. You know, I always worry when I let her out if something's going to happen to him because he's alone. And I didn't think anything would happen if she's here. It was so funny when they, when they leave and they come back again and he's so angry with them and he picks on baby pie so much, like he was really scaring her um, because he doesn't pick on the babies, but he picked on baby pie, who is, is Maggie's baby. Um, in fact, sometimes she's scared to even go near the bowl when he decides it's his. Oh no, but I can't believe it. I won't believe he's gone. What happened, Pep? Did you see something? Did you see or hear something? Oh my goodness. Poopa. Baby Pie, did you see something, Poopa? Do you know what happened to him? Was it a bird? Was it a fox? Compared to a lot of roosters we have had, he has lived a full life. And he has also taught me a thing or two and inspired quite a few of you out there. Which is a very important thing to remember. He lived his life exactly the way he wanted to live it. And we let him. Of course I would have loved him to live longer. But he did live longer than most roosters have the chance of living. And he lived a happy life. One full of love, adventures and unique experiences. Experiences that would never happen to the everyday rooster. Rupert will live on in my memory and still give me joy every time I think of his personality, his zest for life, away from the bullies and his big sacrifice in the end, just to be with the one he loved. If you have felt something or shed a tear for Rupert in the story, well, he has done more than most roosters will ever do in their lifetime. Ha, ha, ha.